All right, guys, welcome back to another day of Fishing Attic video. I hope you all are having an absolutely amazing day. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing week. This weekend didn't go as planned. Of course, being fishermen, we all know that generally is what happens. We have these great plans to go do something, and it goes down the drain. So this weekend, we were supposed to go to Canton Lake for the walleye rodeo. Unfortunately, guys had to work. Things came up. So it was going to be me by myself. The weather wasn't looking great. It was looking like it might get rained out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to go down to the dam, see what I can fish for down there. I got a bunch of new baits in from Bojangle Baits, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, that I wanted to try out. So I was like, I'll just go down there, do some crappie fishing. Maybe they'll have some water going. I can do some striper and hybrid fishing. When we got there, it was kind of sprinkling, so I left the camera in the truck, went down there, was doing a little bit of crappie fishing, wasn't really catching much, so I decided to go from down there around the boat ramp area on up to the wall and on the rocks. Um, I got about halfway up there, and they sounded the siren, so we hurried up, got to, my, got to our spot that we like to fish from. The striper bite was on as soon as they turned that water on for about 20 minutes. I didn't even catch one. <laughs> the guys that were fishing around me, there were two guys, there were like, there were five of us there, and only two guys ended up catching fish. And they both caught two apiece. One of them got one that was 20 pounds. I do have that on video of us weighing that one, and I think I did get his other one on video. Unfortunately, I did not get his name. They were very nice guys. They were a blast to fish with. Um, I'm sorry if you're watching this video that I didn't get your name and didn't get it put in here, but you guys were great. Um, caught an awesome fish. You know, I know some of you big striper guys, 20 pounds might not be huge to you, but to us, that's freaking awesome. Ours are landlocked, not saltwater. So a 20 pounder to us is pretty good. But I was throwing the same thing they were throwing. And for some reason I couldn't catch one. I don't know what it was. Um, so I decided, you know what? The other day when we were there and they weren't really running any water, the hybrids would only hit like small crappie baits. They weren't hitting the big flukes when we threw them, but as soon as we went down small crappie baits, they started hitting them. So I started throwing this guy right here. This is a two inch bow minnow with a chartreuse head. And I tell you what, I found like possibly the ultimate drum bait. <laughs> if you guys wanna go try for drum, and catch a fish that fights hard and that's plentiful as heck and is a blast. Try this little guy out right here. Chartreuse head, white body with a chartreuse tail. Um, this this is actually a two inch bow minnow from Bojangle Baits that I dipped the tail in this uh, dipping glow, the chartreuse dipping glow. I couldn't keep the drum off this thing. They actually started making fun of me because every time I would catch something, everybody would just start yelling, oh, it's a drum, oh, it's a drum. Cause, and it was a drum every time. I caught probably 30. It was nuts, but it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I caught a lot of big drum, caught a lot of small drum, had some good fights. I actually caught one. Somehow I snagged one cart in the dorsal fin. You'll see that in the video, um, which made for a fun fight. Um, but yeah, it, it was a blast. Uh, the next day, Sunday, me and my wife went out for one of them days, which a lot of fishermen, I think, overlook because we get to targeting certain species and that's all we go after. But me and my wife just took a Sunday. We went together and we went to one of our favorite little bitty lakes. And at this lake, if you throw this uh, black and chartreuse or black and green, uh, Bo calls it Old Faithful, same as we do. This has always been an Old Faithful, old go-to. You can catch pretty much anything in this lake. We have caught catfish, crappie. We have caught bass, um, every kind of sunfish and things like that in there. So me and her decided to just go over there, have some fun, just turn the camera on and let it roll before the storm hit and just fish for whatever bites. And sometimes guys, that's what we need to do. Stop targeting just one thing because that can get frustrating and a lot of y'all know how it is. You spend all this money on bass rods or crappie rods or whatever and baits and yada, yada, yada. And you go out and target and you just have one of them days where you get skunked or something like that. Take a day, at least once a month, take a day and just go to a local pond, go to a local lake and just throw what'll catch everything. And just don't, it's so much fun, guys. It just Every time you throw that jig out there, you don't know what you're going to bring in. Now, every time you get a hit, it, I mean, it can be a bass crappie. You never know. That big old bass that you've been targeting may hit that. That big old crappie you've been targeting may hit that. And my wife, she's caught multiple big crappie on that jig right there. Multiple big crappie. We caught multiple nice bass on these things. So, you know, like I say, 
sometimes we just need to wind down, stop targeting one thing and just go have some fun, act like kids again, you know, laugh, carry, cut up, carry on and have fun. So anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of this video. I hope you all enjoy it and we'll talk about the 500 subscriber giveaway. Is it yours? Yours? No. <laughs> 20 pounds. 20 pounds, holy shit. For the biggest one today. What part of you? That white and chartreuse has been the money. <laughs> Not a striper, unfortunately. <laughs> Hooked up on another one. Striper. Nice one. Heck yeah. Well guys, this is a little unexpected catch. I really thought I had line, but I got a little sogger. I didn't record it because I thought I had line. That's a cool little dude there. Oh, yeah, he gonna try and spike me. We gotta throw him back because he's too small, but that's pretty cool. That's the first one I've ever caught it caught. And I've been fishing here a long time. Yeah. Hybrid. Nice, bro. Nice hybrid. There you go. Nice hybrid. Man, they're yeah, on, guys. <laughs> That's the biggest drum I've ever caught. Holy mackerel. Holy cow. All right, come down, dude. Come Can down. you handle it? Don't break me off. I want my lure back. <laughs> Whoa, he's wet. Hold him up here, Cody. Man, look at his back. He's got a hole punched through his back. That's a big one. Not a striper, but hey. My leg. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm on the drum bite. <laughs> go ahead. Buddy. He says, "Go ahead." Uh, what is it? This is a carp. Carp. Yeah, I got him right in the top fin. Yep. I didn't think it was a drum because it wasn't filmed like a drum. Come on there, buddy. Come on, don't break my line. I'm going to let you go. Oh, 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 come here, come here, come here. Mm-hmm. 
And they're good? Corpy. Go Little fish. goldfish. What's going on, guys? A little update. It's honestly been kind of a crazy day. We just sat here re rigging. So don't mind me not looking at the camera too much. Uh, the striper was really hot for 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, right when they turned the water on. Um, then it was over. Not caught another hot, uh, hybrid or striper or nothing since. Um, I mean, that was literally 8 o'clock this morning. It's now 4.41 in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's been slow. Um, I've probably caught 30 drum. Got John over here yelling at me. <laughs> uh, I probably caught 30 drum. I don't know what it has been about this color right here. This little chartreuse and white with the chartreuse head, man, the drum will not leave it alone. The crappie are loving it too. We've caught a ton of crappie. We didn't get a lot of them. We didn't get any of them on video, I don't think. Because it was just real slow. I mean, it's probably 20 casts per fish, <laughs> if not more. So, anyway, that's your that's an update. I don't know if John, I think, is fixing the bell. I'm probably fixing the bell. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. What's going on guys welcome back to another damn fishing attic video we are out here at one of my favorite little lakes we're fishing for whatever bites <laughs> i mean really we're just having some fun this is the first catch of the trip this these guys are freaking awesome i know they have a scientific name that everybody knows but here we just call them perch they're all perch i've told you all that before in our catching perch video but what we're using is just these little these are bow minnows from bojangle baits i'll show you guys a bunch of their stuff um i found this guy on TikTok. he's an awesome dude he makes all kinds of custom baits custom colors you know and me personally i like to support a small company they need it more than any of your big companies that are in walmart and everything like that um, and a lot of times these small companies like Bo, i called him up or actually i messaged him up and i said hey man my wife uh, once had made a comment about having some jigs made in her cancer colors, her cancer ribbon colors. Would you be interested in doing it? It wasn't even five minutes later, he messaged me back, heck yeah, what colors, what do you want to do? You know, so, and then I've messaged him on other custom colors. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And he's been right on it, poured them for me and everything. So these companies, these smaller companies, guys, look them up on TikTok, look them up on Facebook, stuff like that. Give them your support, get with them, talk to them. Because a lot of times these companies are going to treat you way better than any company at Walmart that's in Walmart. So anyway, we're going to get to fishing. We're just fishing for whatever bites. I mean, we honestly don't have a target species. We're not going to be keeping anything. We're just out here having fun on a Sunday afternoon, me and my wife. So we'll see what we get into. See that big old swirl over there right off that rock. There are some big bass in here. I'll call it. Oop, there he is. A little crappie. I got that one. A little bitty crappie. Oh, little dude. Come here, come here, come here. A little baby crappie. We'll let him go back, get bigger. I don't even think you'd get a fish stick off him anyway. Even if you wanted to clean him. <laughs> you'd get like a fish stick's fish stick. It's a pinky stick. A pinky stick. <laughs> Good lord, it's humid over here. Ow. Okay. Well, that's a situation. <laughs> Got it back. Yeah. Did you get hung up? <laughs> 
Get this time. Uh, Upper. Like I said, I know these got a scientific special name that's not perch, because actual true perches are up north. In our neck of the woods, but in our neck of the woods, that's a perch. When we say we go and perch fishing for a jug line, that right there is exactly what we're looking for. It was actually perfect. If it wasn't Sunday, I would have probably throw him in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. He would have been perfect size for a flathead. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, mine's been over the tree. Yeah. Good thing is, I know how to get it back. Reel it up until it gets right below the branch. Pop it and it comes flying back. Got it. How many of y'all know that trick? You're out fishing, you throw your lure up over a branch, reel your lure up right till it's about to hit that branch, and then yank on it like you're trying to set the hook on a 10 pound bass. It'll pop up over that branch, but a lot of times it's coming back at you with the quickness. <laughs> oh, a little crappy. There's like a pile of them sitting right here off the end of this, this uh, fence. Because every time I bring it through there, something bumps it. Another itty bitty crappie. I think I found the nursery. <laughs> I think I found the crappie nursery. Oh, there's something. What do we got here? The other thing I love about here is you never know. Every time you get hit, you don't know. Oh, nice black crappie. Ooh, he swallowed it. He was committed. Yep. There we go. Got it out. What is it? You count the rays? Yeah, seven. So ain't that a black crappie? It ain't, it ain't just off the color. It's off the rays or something on their dorsal fin. I don't know. It was pretty as heck, though. That's so. Yeah. Oh, that is a fish. Little crappie. I'm telling you, there's a pile of little crappie right here off of this fence post. I'm hoping I got the camera angle I'm good enough where you can see it. I've got it on wide angle, so it should be. Another little guy, let him go get bigger. Hopefully we'll catch him in a year or two and he'll be a mundo. Hey. You're trying to sneak over here and steal my fish. You decide to move down there. How many of y'all's wives do that? Go all the way down, like 30 yards away from you and then cast back at you. She just landed that lure right in front of me. I should figure it again. See, here it comes. There it is. <laughs> How many of y'all's wives do their kids? I know my kids do it. Kids do it a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this swamp donkey. Oh. Man, I can't even land a stick fish. <laughs> but I guarantee I just ruined my little crappie spot because it came off right above it. It probably just scared every little crappie there was out of there. Yeah, I see. Little baby water snake. I always see so many people get all excited when they see them through. Like, ah, oh, it's a water moccasin. It's like, no, it's a diamondback water snake. Not even close. It's completely harmless. He wants nothing to do with you unless you are dangling a minnow in his nose. <laughs> Or if you have a minnow bucket, yeah, we actually had an incident one day where we had our minnow bucket sitting there, and all of a sudden my kids start hollering, me and my wife turn around, and there is a diamondback water snake in our minnow bucket like it's a buffet. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a little one either. He was a good, what, 
two foot long or better. He was big. He wasn't little. And he was in there like he done found the buffet and he was enjoying himself. Okay. I mean, I, I was kind of laughing. It, it sucked, but at the same like, time, I was laughing. Yeah, here comes another one right over here. You might be able to see him. I don't know. That camera's right over there. Oh, he's, he just went underwater. Guys, don't kill him. He's in your point. Yeah, he seen me pointing at him. He knew he was spotted. He's like, oh, they got me. <laughs> don't kill them snakes. They don't hurt nothing. Everything has their place. Oh, they they hurt nothing at all. He popped back right here. They're not eating your game fish and stuff like that. They're mostly eating minnows and bugs along the bank and stuff like that. Oh, he went back under. Not saying they wouldn't eat a baby crappie if it got close enough, some of the bigger ones, but so are a lot of y'all. <laughs> all right, guys, well, that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it again. You guys, small businesses, let's get out there. Let's support these small businesses. Let's support these local bait shops. I am paid nothing by Bojangles. I can show you my invoices. I'm paid nothing by them. I did not get no discounts, nothing uh, for these baits. I just believe in the guy. I believe in what he's doing. I believe in his product. That's why I'm showing you guys just like the stringers and everything else. I told you guys if I find products that I believe in, I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, Walmart ain't going to lose no sleep if you don't buy your baits there. But, you know, these smaller businesses, these smaller bait shops and stuff, they do lose sleep watching them numbers at the end of the month when the end of the month's coming. And, you know, they got to pay bills. They got to pay everything like that to keep that place open. If them numbers ain't there, you know, there's a chance they can close. And then when you need them, they're not going to be there. So let's make sure and let's support these smaller businesses. I've got a new... Uh, product that I found and again it's another TikTok find man I'm telling you there's some awesome creators guys on TikTok check them out don't you know I know a lot of people are like I don't want to get on TikTok because all the girls twerking and blah 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 once you get your TikTok set up to the stuff you like I don't have that crap my, my TikTok I can show you my TikTok it is like fishing it's like all fishing I found a really kick butt new product that I can't wait to show you I'm fixing to order some from him so that we can do a little video on them that I think is going to help a lot of you guys out. But anyway, uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway, we need to talk about that real quick and I'll let you guys get off of here. We are going to go ahead and stick with the snagger giveaway because snagging is what this channel was built on. If they came to me and they said, Cody, you can never fish for anything again but one fish, what would it be? Snagging all the way, spoonbill all the way. That would be it. So that's what this channel was built on. That's what most of you are here because of. So we are going to stick with that. Now I will make an exception. If somebody wins and they are in a state that snagging is illegal and none of this gear is going to work for you, so it's just kind of a waste, then we will probably work something out different that will benefit you. Or if somebody wins that's maybe of an age that they can't snag or, you know, something like that, we may look at working out something different. But as of right now, we are going to stick with it being a snag and rod, reel, line, weights, and hooks, and bag. That's what we're going to stick with right now. Again, like I said, we may change that depending on circumstance. But the channel was built on snagging. That's what we originally said we were going to do. So that's what we're going to stick with at this time. I also had somebody ask, are we going to be giving away... Uh, t-shirt hoodie anything like that with the with the giveaway and heck yeah we will I'll, I'll throw you in a t-shirt I'll throw you in a hat if you win the 500 subscriber giveaway no problem also the 500 subscriber rod again guys is going to be built by Burke's custom rods check him out on Facebook he's out of Kansas he is going to build you a custom rod so it's gonna say damn fishing addict 500 subscriber giveaway it'll have your name where you're gonna help pick the colors and everything like that go check him out go look at his rods you guys he makes some awesome stuff. He's a great guy. Um, let's see. I think that's about it, guys, for this week's video. Again, I know it wasn't the walleye video. It wasn't a smash striper video. But, you know, sometimes things just don't work out. And you got to make the best of them. Don't get stuck focusing on that one thing. If that thing don't work out, try, try something different. You never know. Like I said, I never would have thought 
this right here would have been like the most fire drum bait I've ever found. But man, I had a blast catching them drum. And I honestly caught more fish than anybody there. Granted, they were all drum. I still caught more fish than everybody there. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a great week. I hope the rest of your day is absolutely amazing. And we'll see you next time at the dam. Yeah.